Okay, so today's video is one I've been wanting to make for a very long time. Now, I'm going to be talking about Demon Fall, and the goal of this video is to take away from you guys. Do you want to play this game or not? It's going to be my 100% honest criticism and review on Demon Fall after playing it. I'm going to talk about the pros of the game, the cons, and I'm also going to include it in a way that makes you guys think that you should or shouldn't play the game. I'm going to try my best not to blatantly hate on the game because it does have a lot of flaws, but it also has a lot of good things about it, which makes it a good game. And uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe because we're trying to see thousand subscribers. So I'd really appreciate it and be sure to leave a like on the video. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Let's get into the video. Okay, so Demon Fall, and I apologize if I sound a little tired, y'all. I've recorded this so many times. I just don't want to record anymore. But yeah, I'm going to be giving my 100% honest criticism on demon fall so i want to say i just want to start off by saying demon fall is amazing all right i love the game it has something that no other demon Slayer game that i've personally played it does and that's the story mode you know you spawn in and obviously you don't go straight into a storm mode actually you do technically every action you do as a slayer at least and a little bit as a demon involves some sort of story mode and i kind of like this because not only does it make you kind of immerse yourself into the game it also provides kind of a what's the word a foundation a spine for future updates and the story mode is kind of interesting because if you think about it, let's look at a game like your bizarre adventure for example you have this huge jojo game that has its own story mode and it follows the story of golden wind part five of jojo's bizarre adventure right and this game has so much content from one arc of jojo so just think about the amount of content that they could receive if they added in more story modes from other parts there's what eight parts of jojo and they have one out of eight so you could carry that same logic into demon fall it has kind of cemented itself with the foundation that it needs for content in the future if you think about it demon fall is basically never going to run out of content due to the storm mode that they've created even in let's say they release one update every two weeks they do one more boss there's so much to demon slayer that similar to ybn and jojo there's a lot of content to the point where they don't need to come up with anything original they don't need to do anything crazy as long as they keep following the story and keep adding on to their own story you know they're gonna have more and more content so that's already one major plus is that the game has a good amount of content all right not only that they have the ability to keep adding more and more content so unlike other games you know you're not gonna get bored easily another thing i like about how demon fall is how much the game pushes you to play with your friends everything in demon fall is made to be multiplayer and i might sound stupid or you know maybe you guys don't get what i'm trying to say let me, let me try to explain that everything in demon fall is set up where you have to or you have the ability to do it with friends now not only is this good for the game itself because obviously it's bringing more players it's also good for the player because if you're having fun with i mean <laughs> let me say it again if you're with friends you're having more fun and that's true for everything i play if i'm with my friends the people who i enjoy spending my time with i'm having more fun playing the game itself i don't know if that's the same for you guys but it is for me so that's already a major plus now one thing i dislike about demon fall is the insane unbalance and i see a trend in this very thing among demon slayer games a lot of demon slayer games i play are incredibly imbalanced and this is not the only one unbalancing is a huge problem in demon fall you have clans like kocho that punish the person who's fighting said kocho for attacking the kocho clan has a passive where if you attack a kocho you take poison damage for attacking them so basically the player is not being punished for choosing to attack and <laughs> that's that's ridiculous literally insane i don't know how aerox big whatever i don't know how they chose to put that in the game and said oh this is balanced yeah let's just punish anybody who tries to attack a coacher that's balanced yeah but let's just ignore that so that's very dumb i gotta say a lot more about that but that's all i want to put you have the rengoku clan you also have water breathing but i'm, I'm gonna get into that rengoku has a move ninth form rengoku if you saw the demon slayer movie or look at my banner you guys can take a pretty guess as pretty good guess as to what that is and this move pretty much one shots it does a good amount of hp i've won so many fights cheesing with this move so that alone is stupid how it pretty much one shots no move in demon fall should be doing that much damage and finally water breathing and this isn't the only brain dead thing but having the ability to pretty much infinite combo which you can do with water breathing and i've seen a lot of youtubers do this in their videos i've watched a couple videos on demon fall where youtubers will actually use the form and pretty much infinite combo in the beginning of their videos for the intros and how this hasn't been patched even though all these youtubers are doing this i don't really know but that's a huge problem the game can also be very tedious at times for example when i wanted to get mist breathing 
it has you go into some sort of maze, right? And normally you'd be like, oh, well, this seems pretty fun. But instead of doing like a, a fun maze, you can be in there for literally, it, there's no limit. I was in that maze for misbreathing for a good 40 minutes of my time. And I still didn't get the damn breathing. I had to have a friend hop onto my account just to get the breathing. So I, I didn't like that. All right. And you guys, you you guys can be you guys can be doing the same thing. So it's just that the game at some points can be tedious. For water breathing, you have to do something similar. For water breathing, you have to complete a parkour set. And that is also very annoying because if you're new to that, if you're if it's your first time, you'll be in there for a good 40 minutes before you actually get the hang of what you're doing and begin to finish it. Aside from that, like I said, I love how Demonfall pushes you to play with friends. They're already capitalizing off of the fact that us players, we naturally have more fun when we're doing it with friends. I, I think that's the same for most of us. I don't know about all of you, because like obviously I can't speak for everyone, but me and I feel like the vast majority of players, we're all going to have more fun if we're playing with our friends, the people who we enjoy spending time with. So they're already capitalizing off of that by enabling players to have this much you know player and player even for final selection let's look at final selection for example by the way you can't complete final selection before or after you learn breathing i guess it doesn't matter i wish it was a prerequisite to learn breathing but anyways final selection you can do this with friends the vast majority literally everything in demon that requires some sort of teleportation it, it, you can do it with friends final selection boss battles and final selection listen all right being able to go into final selection and come out with friends and be recognized as official slayers it that is vice i mean that is nice all right the amount of immersiveness in demon fall is what really carries this game in my eyes the amount of just feeling of demon slayer you actually feel as if you are in the demon slayer world when you're playing this game and that that is what really makes this game better for me it's just it, like it, it's like any anime you look at any anime game right let's say shinder life for example people mostly played that my not my not shinder life shinder life too People played that, including me, because it felt like Naruto. And obviously, Naruto is one of my favorite anime, but it's also one of everybody's, or for the most part, a lot of people's favorite anime. Not everybody, but if you enjoy the anime, as I'm trying to say, you're going to want to see a game based off of that anime. And when you then play said game, you're, you're going to enjoy it more, purely because it's off of an anime that you enjoy. And they're really capitalizing off of this by making this game feel like demon slayer and hopefully you guys get what i'm trying to say now in terms of animations modeling scripts all that in case it can be made that demon fall is not like insane in terms of all that like i wouldn't put it at gbo standards however I, I will say that the game does look good all right the modeling is the modeling is pretty good the effects look decent um in terms of effects i'd give it a, a b minus and scripts i'd probably say strong strong as strong as tier scripts modeling I'd say pretty A tier. I mean, everything about the game, the game just looks like a solid A tier game. You know, it's something to play. It's something to do. And that's what people really need right now. Just something to do. A game to just relax on. I, I do too. In a time where there's not much to play, like you guys obviously would want to play a lot of games in Roblox. And I can respect that because I'm the same way. I would want to play pretty much anything right now besides, you know, a simulator. Another thing I like about Demon Fall is that the game is incredibly beginner friendly. It's going to explain to the new player what to do. It's going to teach you how to play. It's going to build you up to, you know, understand the game and get good at it. I, I love that. I love how much, how user friendly it is. And this is not only good for the players, but it's good for the developers. Well, I'm going to say it a lot, by the way, but that's absolutely phenomenal because it encourages new players to get into the game it encourages you to keep playing the game as well. Now, I said this in one of my previous videos, I think it was my Wisteria video, but this is something that a lot more games could use. Example A, or <laughs> Exhibit A, I feel like I'm in a friggin' uh, detective movie, but Exhibit A, you have Grand Piece Online. I was with Sensei Inc., uh, a, One Piece a One Piece YouTuber, and my friend Rover Ags gave him a Pika Pika fruit, and he didn't realize that for the Pika Pika fruit, he'd have to store it or buy the storage game pass. So he logged with this Del fruit, and since he didn't have the ability to store it, or since he didn't know he had to store it, he, he lost the Pika because Grand Peace has no sort of beginner guide at all. It doesn't have that whatsoever. So he didn't know he had to store it and he logged and lost a Pika. So all I'm saying is I love how user friendly this game is. I love how it actively tries to encourage a new player to, you know, get into the game, try to understand everything that's going on. And it really tries to teach the, the new player, the noob, 
how to get into the game and just interact. I know I keep saying this, but it's so important, y'all. It is such a big deal, and I, I don't understand how more games just don't do this. That's just a smart, slight little pet peeve of mine. I just wish more games had tiny little beginner guides. I mean, even Wisteria, I swear I got this case from, is, is phenomenal in terms of that. One thing about Demonfall is that the updates are very consistent. When this game drops, I have no doubt in my mind that the updates are going to be coming like, like, like rapid fire, like thunder. The updates are going to be coming and coming and coming. And whenever I look at the Vault, it also feels like they're always working. They're always improving. They're always developing. They're always improving in some way. And I love that about the Vault. Even now when I'm looking at the sneak peeks, let me try it again. Even now when I'm looking at the sneak peeks channel, it just feels like they're always, they're always just trying to go crazy in, in some sort of way. And that's honestly, it's phenomenal because like I said, I, I do feel as if when this game drops, none of you guys are going to have to worry about content. Like that's a huge problem with games. Like look at Heroes Ultimate, for example, the game released and the updates were non-existent. I think it might've dropped like a little bit after it died, but at first the updates just were not there. So yeah, it, it, it just wasn't there, you know, but now the updates are, they're, they're coming fast. Like 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 rapid fire you know and i respect this about i respect this about demon fall a lot because that right there is already a huge aspect that a lot of demon slayer games just don't have and it's good it's good that these updates are coming now because if this game didn't have this i would genuinely be scared all right i'm not gonna lie i would genuinely be scared for this game's release but the fact that it does have this i'm not as worried but one thing that i dislike about demon fall is that uh Oh man, people are gonna get me on get on me for this. The game has a slight lack of endgame content. Right now, at the moment, currently in game, and I know that in the future, only stuff might most likely be more, but in the test server right now, after you hop in game, complete the story. And by complete the story, I mean everything. Talk to your nephew, talk to your cousin, talk to your I mean uncle, talk to your uncle, then talk to your aunt, then get a breathing, then do final selection, or vice versa, and then um do the slayer quest. And if you want to be a demon, I don't know, get killed by a demon, become a demon, talk to Muzan, do the first quest. There's nothing left besides ranked. So as long as you guys are okay with that, then hey, <laughs> that's all you. But me personally, I need a little bit of something else. Like look at your bizarre adventure. You have ranked, yes, same thing as Demonfall. But you also have, you have Steel Ball Run, okay? And Steel Ball Run allows you to, you know, if you're bored, you can hop on Steel Ball Run. And that's why your bizarre adventure has almost 35,000 players on average so yeah if you guys are wondering why YB is so popular because the game has a lot of variety they have content and that's something a lot of game owners could really stand to hear I'm not gonna lie but yeah in conclusion I love Demon Fall I think that the game is phenomenal oh, I'm honestly glad I got the chance to test the game because the game is great <laughs> it has a lot of content now I know I just said it lacks end game content but please y'all try to understand end game content and in game content or all right, how do I, what's the right way to put this? End game content is what I mean when you've done everything. By content content, I mean things you can do before you've done everything. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to say with that. But yeah, the game is amazing. Um, I honestly hope that it releases soon. I mean, I know it's going to release soon. And uh, I have wanted to make this video for a real long time now. In conclusion, the game is, in terms of right now, I say the game is a solid 7 out of 10. Only reason why it's not higher is because me personally, I ran out of things to do in Demonfall. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I personally ran out of things to do in Demon Fall. Besides ranked and the story mode, there is nothing. And that's why I feel like unless they continue to update, 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 like Demon Slayer RPG 2 with Higoshi, he just keeps on updating the game. He does not stop updating the game. And that's why Demon Slayer RPG 2 is kind of making a comeback. That's why it went from being a dead game to a fully alive, one of the highest grossing, if not the highest grossing Demon Slayer games on the platform. That's why the game is doing so phenomenally well right now, okay? And if anybody wants to tell me that I'm wrong about that, y'all need to just check the game page because y'all are tripping. But yeah, that's why, you know, I, I, I love the game. But if they don't continue to update, 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 Demonfall is not going anywhere. It's going to release and it's going to die. It's going to pull a Here's Ultimatum. No respect to that game, but that's what's going to happen. It's going to release and it's going to die. So I'm telling y'all, I, I know for a fact, if this game drops and it doesn't continue to update, update, update just keep on updating the game will die and i've seen so that happen in so many games it doesn't matter if there are no games to play because clearly we saw that in a lot of other games that have been releasing lately even if there's nothing to play people are getting tired of the same thing so the games are not updating and updating and updating 
it's just not gonna matter but uh that's my honest opinion on Dean Fall. once again if you're in the channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button i've been talking for way too long i will catch you guys in the next video and see you later y'all much love I hit them hard, make them switch animations They change from the show to the movies, on. Uh. Feel like the Burger who wanna fight with me? I take them out with this two-piece, on. Uh. Who's not they cabin when they say they want me? They gon' see my crew, now they lose